You have to understand Berlin. In Berlin, everyone thinks, okay, you have so many artists, you have so many galleries, you have so many studios. Okay, you have these big art schools. They work really strongly. I mean, University of the Arts, they have a group, they work together and the other art group. And then you have a lot of international artists, but they never come together. So I thought, let's make a project that shows this fairy tale because everyone thinks you can do what you want in Berlin. The artists of this exhibition are not uh, uh, like the established artists uh, mm -hmm. that, that there are in Berlin. But it was interesting for us to, to, put, uh, to concentrate on that and, uh, to, and to bring to light what is going on there somewhere. Yeah. My name is Paula Bogatti. I ended up in Canada, grew up there. This one is made for the fairy tale, which was shown in Copenhagen. It's like a modern version of fairy tale. The people come to Berlin because it's something happening. Actually, everybody's an artist. You meet somebody who's not an artist, you're like, oh my God, what are you doing? <laughs> I came to Berlin to have the chance to enter in better and bigger exhibitions. Going to Berlin is my, my personal fairy tale of Berlin. Yeah, I think it, it's a very good title because it's not just for me, it's for everybody here in, in the show. Everything is possible. Yeah. The concept actually started in London. I really had a lack of uh, space. My canvas was really as big as the space that I had. Then I thought about I have to use really every centimeter and go further, go over the canvas and try to involve everything and um, marking the space as yours. For me, it's, I like it a lot that I can't take my spaces with me. Normally people take souvenirs out of the space. I have a, a model, it's a person, a real person, and I paint with acrylic, uh, which normally on the painting, also on canvas, and now I paint on the people, a portrait on somebody, and then I make a photo. And it's kind of like performance photography. <laughs> For me, the fairy tale of Berlin is uh, there's a lot of artists in Berlin, and they all want to be superstar, maybe. <laughs> and it's uh, like an illusion, maybe. As though if it's so many, I don't know, it's not so possible. And it's a, it's a kind of fairy tale. <laughs> it's like an example, only one. We are from the artist group called Neuland van Exel. You know, the fairy tale in Berlin is, for, for me, we have 400 galleries, we have a huge place, and we have a lot of uh, empty spaces and unused houses. The, the rents are low, and for example, after the war, so many things were destroyed and not rebuilt, and you have underground parties and empty buildings, you have different locations which are not controlled by the police and not controlled by gangs or something. They are just empty and you can use them for certain things. For me it's also, Berlin has a lot of dark corners, but, but they're inside of the city, what you say, and I don't know, they need to be filled, and they can be filled with thoughts or dreams or the things that, that we fill in too. Right. So this is what, for me, is Berlin and the fairy tale of Berlin. Yeah, I like this uh, title fairy tale because it, you can put everything in and it, you can make like a whole story and I think every uh, huge city has this, that you can have different stories at the same time, parallelism and I mean you can have completely, you can step under and have a completely different life if you want it. So I think this is really exciting on huge cities for me, so that everything goes this way or this way you can choose which way you go, but it will be different for you. So and then it's. That is the thing for me for fairy tale. I think I'm in the exhibition because I work in Berlin and I'm from Berlin. But these pictures, they're not made in Berlin. They're made in Istanbul. I had a, I had a grant for six months in Istanbul. This work is, is not especially a work about Berlin, but it's made from a Berlin original artist, you know, that I see more like as Berlin as my base and I try to work also abroad, not only concentrate on Berlin market because this is really difficult as there are so many artists living in Berlin and working. For me it's a space in Germany where I can really meet a lot of uh, colleagues, art, art colleagues and can see what they do, what they think about. I met some artists from this group before and we studied together, which makes a lot of fun now to meet them again in the exhibition. So Berlin for me, you can create your own space. In all my works, it's really important that the work is going with the space, that it's creating an own space between the work, the space, and, and the observer. 
I thought about to put it uh, to put it against the wall and to create a kind of image. So for me, it's it's a kind of three-dimensional image. I started uh, with the graffiti writing as a teenager. Then at some point, uh, it changed to 3D stuff. Is more my my thing, and I was already studying in Berlin then at that time. I just like to love uh, to leave Switzerland, and it was not as a direct translation, but I always loved this kind of machines, the tractors. When I was a kid, there were a lot around in the outline areas, like digging holes somewhere, going deeper and trying to change. It. Well, it's a symbol for a change or something which goes into the ground. Why I'm in Berlin? Because if you want to do something, you can do it. It's not so difficult like in Bulgaria. I'm just trying to move a little bit the public, you know, to make it feel confused or uncomfortable. The public is too satisfied it and I want to and lazy, you know, I want to move it and shake it up a little bit. For my personal work I find it extremely fitting because I always deal with what I would say urban fairy tales, just everyday life. And um, these three drawings here actually have a title, a series title, it's all Damsel in Distress. And I made that, that series title when I knew that we were starting this project called Fairy Tale of Berlin. I think the name Fairy Tale of Berlin fits so well because Berlin is not a city that is very clear. It's very dreamy-like and it always changes and it's completely malleable, just like every fairy tale is a little bit different. Every, Everyone has their own view of Berlin. The whole exhibition is very playful. Every single one of us is very playful. The city is very playful. It's very improvised. It's very creative. And I think the whole dream of it being the cultural melting pot for artists at the moment um, makes it also a fairy tale for every artist that wants to go there. <laughs> Hopefully with a happily ever ending. <laughs> yeah.